Good morning. I want to say thank you to everyone that called in. I really appreciate it having these conversations with you. Now that part is over. I'm not taking any more phone calls for the information. However, I am starting a mentorship program. So if you're interested in being mentored, having hands-on training, the links below, go ahead and fill it out and set up an appointment. Once again, uh, I want to say thank you to everyone who got on the phone with me, chatted with me, told me their stories, told me a lot of stuff. It was very, very helpful. So thank you. All right. So part of what I'm seeing here after actually talking to people literally around the world is people do not prepare for the worst. Uh, I've talked to a lot of people who, for some reason, something happened with their job, they were unemployed, they were looking to do something, and this, this is the thing that just stood out to me. People do not prepare for bad times. They just don't. Bad times come, next thing you know, they're underwater. And in this economy, I want to say this and I want to say this as plain and as clear as possible. When I started making money online, I had a blog, had a book and had a YouTube channel. So with these things in my arsenal, so to speak, and also this is something that has occurred to me that a lot of people feel that they can come online and instantly start making money. I want to say this. I started in August, September, October. I went almost four months of working full time on my online business and I did not make any money for months. And there's this thought process that you can come out and hack something and do something and start making that money. And, um, I'm going to say, I don't have any of that stuff for you. I have things that work. I have things that have contributed to my financial well-being, but they're not, they're, they're not that quick. And that, that was one of the things I was getting a sense that, you know, people could come in and it, it kind of reminded me of when I was doing the storage auction book. I remember this email and I'll never forget it. Hey, Glendon, I'm looking for something that's going to make me about 9,000 a month. It cannot cost that much to get started. I'm not looking to spend a lot of money. What do you have? And I'm just sitting there like, there's this magic with the internet. Now, I want to say this as plain as possible. There is magic with the internet. The internet can create magic, but it's not snap your fingers quick. And I was looking at this person. If I had something that was guaranteed that I could give you and you can make $9,000 within 30 days, rest assured, you, you think that would be selling that cheaply? If you could go ahead and I had this program that would put you into six figures guarantee. You think I would be selling that cheap? You know, and th th this is one of the things that I, I have thoughts about. People and their concepts of making money. Number one, if you have been making money online and you've built up an online business and it's been doing money for years, I guarantee you, you've went through a lot of trial and error. You made a lot of mistakes and you had some dark days. Now what is happening is people think there is an instant hack where they can go ahead and make money and start making money. And for most of us, I will say for a, very small group of people. There is an instant hack. These people, like there's this girl, I cannot remember her name. She has a fitness channel. She has a wonderful personality. She's funny 
and her channel just exploded. For her, and even with that, it still took her months to get to where she is today. It still took months. So what you need to do, and th this is one of the reasons that I kept pushing the money course, pushing the money course, pushing the money course, you've got to prepare for hard times because hard times are gonna come sooner or later. They're gonna come. And you know, uh, when I was selling the money course, a lot of you took advantage, really appreciate that. And there are many, many people out there who are not really deeply embedded into money management, getting their credit and all this other stuff. They're just not really, and th this is one of the things you have to do. You, you have to know where your money is. You have to know what's going on with your money. These are things you have to know. And there's a lot of people out there who are clueless to their personal finances. The number of people on YouTube who cannot articulate how much money they make. I want, I want you to think about this. You got a job, right? You get paid every two weeks or whatever. You get a pay stub. On that pay stub, it's exactly how much money you make. A lot of people say, like, well, I do, because they're, they're not on top of their money. So one of the things you have to do is get on top of your money. You have to get on top of your money. You have to know what's going on with your money. That's one of the first things you have to do because your money is your source. It's your, uh, it's your thing. It is what brings you into the world, your money. So one of the things that you have to do is be on top of your money, know where your money's doing, know where your money's going, and also figure out a way for you to make extra money and remove time from that. Because this, this is one of the things that I discovered during my phone calls. Everyone is looking for a shortcut, a hack, something that they can do that removes time where they can make a lot of money and um, it's possible with strategy and structure that could take a month or two to put together. So this, this is one of the things that we're getting into, especially with the mentorship thing, the digital blueprint. I'm gonna start teaching people how to do exactly what I do, but there's things that are getting ready to come back. Cause like today is a, is, 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 is a busy, busy day. I got a lot of stuff I gotta do. I have a lot of emails I have to send out. I have a lot of things I need to strategize and a lot of things I gotta work on. And one of the things that you have to understand is you can make money even in a bad economy. You can make money in a bad economy. You can. However, it's going to take work. It's gonna take you doing the work. And you know, there, there's areas that, um, like, like I said, you know, I'm really glad I did the phone calls. I'm glad I really talked to people because I got a lot of wisdom and insights where people are and how people think. And you know, I, I, I talked to a lot of really good people and one of the things that really stands out is this generation doesn't have hobbies. When I was growing up, there was a publication called Reader's Digest and they had a lot of activities in there. And one of the things I used to love to play was the word game. They would have these words in here and then you would tick off what this word means. and. I got really good at it. I would get like, you know, I started doing 20 and I started doing 24 and a lot of times I would get all of them. People are not building themselves with hobbies, habits, or doing stuff. Cause you know, when, when someone would call me, I was like, so what do you like to do? What are your hobbies? Silence. So this is a problem because going back to what I did, I was actually, in the storage auction business. 
I was selling on Craigslist. I was selling on eBay. I was selling on Amazon. I actually did this. And I have a lot of people who want to come on YouTube and literally start talking about something. And I'm going to really talk about this in two parts that they've never done, start pushing and promoting it. And they've never done it. Now, can that work? It can potentially work. It can. Uh, I know people that it has worked for. What is the term? Fake it until you make it. So it can work. But once again, that's not where I come from. I would really prefer that you actually have hands on experience doing the thing that you want to talk about or really be knowledgeable about it because this is going to make your process stronger. So one of the things that you have to understand is you can make money in a bad economy if you structure and you set yourself up correctly. You can make a lot of money in a bad economy. And this is one of the things that we're going to be doing in the mentorship is teaching people how to structure, how to set themselves up and how to actually do certain things that will help them be proactive and fancy and wealthy. Because, you know, I was having a conversation with a mentorship student yesterday and, you know, with his business, they run into some errors because the economy is slowing down and they have experienced some of this. And one of the things you have to do is to position your business where you're getting a lot of exposure. And, you know, one of the things that you should be doing, and this, this right here is really a biggie because essentially this is why I put it in this part of the video because it was at the beginning of the part of the video, a lot of you wouldn't watch you should be writing. Writing composes such a large percentage of the internet, such a large percentage of the internet. Writing is how I made my first pure intellectual money. Writing, writing a blog, writing a book, doing YouTube videos. So you've got to actually buckle down and begin to do the difficult things, the challenging things first, before you start getting into the more complicated things. Because like, uh, literally I talked to a young lady, she has a hair care product, she's made the product and that's it. She doesn't do the YouTube, she doesn't have a blog, you know, she would like sometimes set up and sell it. And there's a, proven pathway, there's a proven formula for her to be successful online, but it's going to require her to do a lot more because when we were talking and I was like, you got to do this, you got to do this, you got to do this. Her mind was blown because she did not know that. So if you want to make money in 2024, there's a pathway, there's a way for you to make money, but it's not going to be um, easy. It's not going to be simple. It's not going to be something that you can just literally sit down and not have to worry about um, the, the the dark part of it, the established parts of it. So right now, 2024, I believe we're going to be in a recession. And from personal experience, I was able to start a profitable business during the recession. They got up to seven figures in a recession. So you can do it, but once again, you must be open to doing the work. If you don't want to do the work, it's not going to happen in my opinion. Uh, there are some people who can get lucky. There are some people who could put up videos, they take off and they can start making crazy money like Caleb Hammer. Caleb Hammer, if you don't know, is a financial YouTuber who sits down and he goes over people's personal finances. He's got some quirky ways about himself. His channel literally took off and uh, he's making a lot of money doing his thing in his manner. Uh, this is who Caleb is. The channel is 100% Caleb, his manners, his, his ideals, his concepts. So Caleb Hammer, financial audit, and it just blew up. 
So there, there's a lot of things that you can do. And in my opinion, this right now is one of the best times to start a new YouTube channel because YouTube is pushing new YouTube channels like I've never seen before. I've never seen YouTube do this before. So there's a lot of stuff that is getting ready to go down. And we're gonna be doing a lot of training. There's gonna be group training and it's gonna be the mentorship. And one of the things that you have to understand and look at and really, really pay attention to is the things that you need to do to put yourself in a position where you can participate in the one person economy. Cause I've been in the one person economy since 2009. And then at points I did some uh, consulting where I had to hire people and that lasted about two years. But for the most part, it's just been me. And then last year I had an assistant, but I have not had huge business change with a lot of people. So you can build a one person business and you can make that one person business very profitable. So if this is something that you're interested in, you know, I've changed up the consulting thing. There's a few more questions. It's not going to take you terribly long time to answer this, but go ahead and get into the consulting thing, the mentorship thing, answer the questions, set up an appointment, understand this will be a sales call. If you're not interested in spending money, there's no point in you filling out the mentorship thing because um, it's just pointless because right now, the first thing, and once again, thank you to all the people who signed up, that I talked to, it was really, really good. Now we're moving to the next step and the mentorship is about establishing a proven training program to help people go ahead and secure that one person business model. And I will say this, this is something I honestly feel that the average person could do create a one person business model that makes between 60 and hundred thousand dollars. They can get that up in about a year. I, I really feel a lot of people can do that and then just grow it and grow it and grow it and grow it. So once again, that links below and that's all I got for you guys today. I will talk to you in the next one.